So this is the third in a series of videos that I put together to show the enhanced display that I have developed. And this one is going to talk more about shapes and specifically shapes where the uh, one of the indices is a single one because that can be difficult to see in the standard display. And as an example, we'll take a look at this variable which gives us a two by three shape, at least that's what it looks like this variable which gives us another 2 by 3 shape at least that's what it looks like but even though these look identical if I take the first item of A I get a, a list of 3 at least that's what it looks like and if I do the first item of B I get a 2 by 3 shape at least that's what it looks like and the problem I have with that is what I'm seeing is not really telling me the full story so in my enhanced display I came up with a way that I could actually get more information about how I was looking at things. So let's look at A. A as expected is the shape 2 by 3 and its integers. Just in case you want that extra information. If I go to B I have a gray background. Its shape is 1, 2, 3. And what the gray background means is there's some number of leading ones. And, and why am I already worrying, only worrying about the leading ones in the shape? Well, because a one inside the shape, so if I say put that together, I have no problem. That looks different, 2, 1, 3, than 2, 3. And 2, 3 looks more like that. 2, 1, 3 looks like that. That's the spacing anyway. Of course, we can see with the gray shade that that's not 2, 3, here it's one two three so as I sort of dart around here you can see that the different shapes look different if the one is inside not the leading one if I put a number of leading ones in front I can put any number of leading ones in front and as soon as I do it I'm back to this and I can't tell the difference how many leading ones until I do a hover but that's a lot quicker than what the standard display is because what the standard display shows me is that same I have no idea what shape that is unless I ask it the way I ask it well of course I could put a shape in front it would give me the shape back so something <laughs> like this oops so no oh, okay yeah so that gives me the shape right back again in the standard display. So I can get it back, but it's much easier if I just do that. It tells me there's something to watch out for. I can go back and check it. So that's the way I've dealt with the uh, singletons in the leading. And as I said before, having ones inside or bounded by non single uh, indices, you can see the difference immediately. That kind of shows the how effective the standard display is in, in showing shapes in J. But uh, I found with the leading ones I really wanted to know that at least there was a difference because there are some things how often I've been caught by something like that where I thought I was dealing with an atom say that and I want that to look like an atom and I want this to look differently it's a list. And of course if I do something as simple as add another number to it, it's pretty obvious what it is. It's a list. But as soon as I take that away in the standard display, it becomes a lot less obvious. And obvious is what I want. So that's why I've developed it that way.